11 of the fantasy football season and here's the top 12 tight ends i'm ranking this week the first guy travis kelsey of the kansas city chiefs so travis kelsey we know once again one of the top tight ends for the last five years here in the nfl and this week here once again a good matchup with the Chargers, a team he's owned throughout his nfl career and they, believe it or not more targets might come his way with juju smith schuster possibly out and mccall hardman possibly out in this ball game so travis kelsey you pretty much pencil him in each and every week for 20 plus fantasy points and this week here at the los angeles chargers once again i think we'll see him score anywhere in that area number two mark andrews of the baltimore ravens so this week here a cupcake matchup versus the carolina panthers that pretty much can't stop anyone this season here mark andrews i know he missed the ball game in week nine but they took care of business at the new orleans saints was this Baltimore Raven team. And Mark Andrews, we know he's an athlete. We know he's a big red zone target, a favorite of Lamar Jackson. And pretty much him and Travis Kelsey each and every week are one and two at the tight end position. So right here, if Andrew plays, obviously, versus a weak Carolina defense in Baltimore, I got him at two. Number three, TJ Hawkinson of the Minnesota Vikings. So right here, this Viking team made a surprising deal at the NFL trade deadline. Getting TJ Hawkinson after Irv Smith Jr. went down what an injury and so far TJ Hawkinson's been putting up good fantasy games and he's been opening the field up well also for this Minnesota Viking team Jefferson's getting more looks Adam Thielen's getting that one-on-one -on -one coverage and Kirk Cousins is just another weapon to add to this Viking team so this week here versus mediocre Dallas Cowboy defense over the last few weeks I know early in the season this is one of the better defenses in the league but right now all of a sudden teams is trying to start to figure them out and this week here, I think Hawkinson has a good ball game. And we know tight end's been a weak position this season. So right here to have him in the top three is not far-fetched. Number four, George Kittle of the San Francisco 49ers. So George Kittle, no doubt about it. It hasn't been that great of a season here for George Kittle. They've been using him more as a blocking tight end than anything over the last few weeks here. But obviously, he's another weapon in this offense. Like I mentioned, tight end's a weak position. We see Zach Ertz, he's out for the season. Dallas Goddard out indefinitely with a shoulder injury and George Kittle's a guy I still think you could count on for a couple good games on and off for the remainder of the season so this week here in a matchup in the NFC West versus division rival Arizona Cardinals we could see this ball game going up and down the field in the indoor game and right here Jimmy Garoppolo is always like George Kittle maybe he's not 100% healthy but this week here I'm gonna rank him high at least one more time and see what he could do with number four and number five Dalton Schultz of the Dallas Cowboys. So ever since Dak Prescott's come back off injury, Dalton Schultz in the last three ball games, nine or more fantasy points in PPR leagues. But his best game last week with 16 fantasy points and five in the end zone. So this week here in a potential shootout at the Minnesota Vikings indoors, which is always a great thing, these indoor games, especially this late in the season where you don't want to deal with the cold weather and the rain or snow or whatever the case may be, Dalton Schultz here, favorite target of Dak Prescott. He's the number two option in the passing game, obviously, behind C.D. Lamb. And this week here in Minnesota, I think he could find the end zone once again with 50 or 60 yards. Number six, Cole Komet of the Chicago Bears. So Cole Komet, three, four weeks ago, he was a guy I said pretty much, you drop off your roster. But all of a sudden, the Chicago Bear offense is built around Justin Fields. They're playing to his strengths. And obviously, Cole Komet being a red zone target, and a good weapon is playing to his strengths. And this week here, what a great matchup at the Atlanta Falcons. I can't stop anyone, obviously. I got Cole Clement at six. The last four, two ball games, he's got four touchdowns. And that's nothing to overlook. So right now, my, some people might think he's high in my rankings here as Cole Clement. But coming off of four touchdowns in two ball games and being a main target, him and Darnell Mooney in the passing games for Justin Fields, who obviously don't throw the football that much. He's a guy I definitely to pay attention to him. What a great matchup. I got him at six. Number seven, Tyler Higby of the Los Angeles Rams. So Higby, he had a couple down weeks in week eight and week nine. But right now in week 10, he came back with a great ball game, over 15 fantasy points in PPR leagues. And right now, Cooper Cup, we know he's out with an ankle injury on injured reserve. Out for at least four or five weeks, possibly the season. Just the way this Rams season is going, it wouldn't be surprising to me if they just sit them out the rest of the year where they're down in the standings right now and it's going to be tough for them but anyway Tyler Higby's going to be the number one target in my opinion in this offense Von Jefferson we haven't seen much out of him since he returned Allen Robinson he's been a plus signing here for this Los Angeles Ram team and Tyler Higby's been a mainstay hopefully Matthew Stafford could return 
in this ball game in New Orleans. But right now, as a tight end being your number one option in the passing game, most likely here, he's a guy that each and every week is going to crack at least in the top 10. And I got him at seven this week. Number eight, Pat Fear moved. Of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So Fearmouth, he's been a solid tight end this season here. No matter if it's been Mitchell Trubisky or Kenny Pickett, who obviously he's been the quarterback now over the last several weeks here for this Pittsburgh Steel team. Deontay Johnson, it's been a down year for him. George Pickens, obviously, they're integrating him into the offense a little more now after trading Chase Claypool away to the Chicago Bears. But Pat Fearmouth's a guy, you know what you're going to get pretty much from him. Seven or eight targets a game. Four or five catches, 50, 60 yards. I know it's not the greatest outputs, but eight or nine fantasy points weekly, at least you're probably going to get for free or And if he could just add that touchdown on top of it, he could be a big-time player at the tight end position. Number nine, Hayden Hurst of the Cincinnati Bengals. So staying in the same game at the Pittsburgh Steelers here is Hayden Hurst. We know this is a division matchup. We know Cincinnati and the Steelers always close ball games, no matter who the quarterback is. No matter the rosters, whatever the case may be here. And Hayden Hurst, he's been a solid signing and a guy a lot of people forgot about over the last few seasons. We know Hurst had a decent year a few years ago in Baltimore. Then with the Falcons was decent after Austin Hooper left. But then they drafted Kyle Pitts a couple years ago with this Falcon team. And he was a lost guy. But this season here, he's been a guy solid for eight and nine fantasy points pretty much weekly. And with Jamar Chase most likely out once again in this game. More targets, it's probably going to be Hayden Hurst's way. He's a red zone target, and Joe Burrow's definitely got confidence in getting Hurst the football and him making plays. So this week here in a division matchup, both tight ends, I could see have a similar type of ball game with eight and nine fantasy points in this one. Number 10, Dawson Knox of the Buffalo Bills. So Dawson Knox last season, it was his breakout year, no doubt about it, with nine touchdowns. But this season here, he's been a mediocre to poor tight end for fantasy football owners. But right now this week versus the Cleveland Browns, I think he could have a good one. He's been getting targeted a little more and a little more healthy over the last few weeks here. And like I've been saying, this tight end position has been a weak position this season. And now with two big injuries to Zach Ertz and Dallas Goddard, who was top five tight ends this season, both these guys here. Guys like Dawson Knox, they're going to appear on the list. And this week here, it's a pretty good matchup versus the Cleveland Browns, who pretty much haven't stopped anybody over the last few weeks. I think Dawson Knox, I'm not saying he's going to go out there and have a monster game, but I think 40 or 50 yards with three or four catches is definitely a possibility. And at this point of the season here, if you could just get that eight or nine points at the tight end position, you're going to take it. But also, he's a favorite red zone target, obviously, of Josh Allen, especially with defenses zeroing in on Stephon Diggs and Gabe Davis. Number 11, Gerald Everett of the Los Angeles Chargers. So right here, Gerald Everett, we don't know if he's going to play in this game. We saw him leave that Week 10 ball game versus the San Francisco 49ers in Everett. But right here, he's got a good matchup versus the Kansas City Chiefs, where they're going to have to throw the football a lot. Chiefs, they're vulnerable to points to tight ends on the season. And if Keenan Allen and Mike Williams are out still in this ball game, that's more targets going to Everett's way. So if Everett's healthy, He's a top 12 tight end this week. I know this season it's been up and down for him, but we've seen some big pop games as well out of Jeffrey Leverett this season. So this one, if he plays in this, I got him number 11. It wouldn't be surprising to me if he get 30, 40 yards in this one and find the end zone. And the 12th and final tight end, I'm ranking this week's Foster Monroe of the Las Vegas Raiders. So right here, Monroe had his big game of the season last week here. And I think now... Obviously, with Darren Wall, we're out another three or four weeks after being put on IR, even though Monroe, obviously, has been playing for multiple weeks as the starter over here for this Raider team. Him and Derek Carr have a good rapport. Derek Carr, over many times, has spoke highly of Forrester Monroe. Only he's still out there in the 71% of Yahoo Fantasy Leagues here is forced on my row. So last week was his breakout game, like I said. Even though it wasn't a monster game, though, three catches, 43 yards, and a touchdown. But in PPR Leagues, that 13-30 is a nice number at the tight end position. And this week here in a good matchup at the Denver Broncos that give up the 15th most fantasy points to tight ends this season here. It could be a tight ball game. It's a division matchup, obviously, in the AFC West where both teams are struggling this season and have been on the performers, no doubt about it. So my role this week, I got him in the top 12, and I think he could pretty much match what he did last week, 30, 40 yards, and possibly find the end zone. It's not far-fetched. That's the top 12 tight ends I'm ranking here for week 11 of the fantasy football season.